Okay guys, welcome to Deb. We're at the Water War round one part of the tournament. This is match number two between Sausages from Australia and Thompson from Sweden. Sausages has gone the Chinese and Thompson has gone I think the fuck war, whoops. He has gone an assault squad. So Finland versus China. Quality versus quantity, pretty much. Um I guess he Thompson's going to the side flags because he has the assault squad and so he just got in the regular squad, so I guess he wants to uh, go to the center, because the center is all about long range shootouts in Deb. So this will allow Sausage just to get the side flags. Storming in a bit further in just to um, ambush some troops, but here comes Sausages. He's actually fanning his troops to the left a bit, so he's using the cover on the left of the center. And maybe I'll have to fire over here. But Thompson does have cover on the rock, but potentially this could be nasty. A few grenades on that this way. And one over here. Oh, bam! That was a nasty one. That was the Chinese AT grenade, which doesn't really kill tanks, but can kill infantry just the same. A few missed grenades from Thompson. Though he still holds onto the side flag, it's quite strong. This flag's definitely going to stay finished for a while. Center flag is yet to be capped now, sausages so rolling in there. Also coming in a bit further up to take the cover of the center. He's firing across to the right flag. And now he's now pushing on with his. A regular, regular squad, and Sausages has gone another regular squad. That's a map choice uh, by, I guess. Deb is known for its long-range engagements, though Thompson has been doing well to leave it to the short-range SMG fights. Uh, the yeah, Sausages has capped the western side, and where's this regular squad from Sausages is going to the left? Okay. So what is Thompson going to go? He's gone an assault squad, so not going regular. It's interesting. And Sausages is also <laughs> taking the cover of Thompson's. Potentially could even move up a little bit more. And wow, so is that the second? No, so the, this is the second regular squad. The first one's moved up. second one is also going to move up. And that might be interesting to see him move over here. A little bit of fire on this flag. And... They probably need to reinforce this flag though. Let's see this uh, Thompson assaulting it with the SMGs. And has taken the semi SMG. So good. Best SMG in the game. Most expensive. I guess Thompson's uh, strategy is based upon that right now. The tactics in his buys. Trying to get the side flags. Focus on the short range engagements. And use finish SMGs to his advantage. But oh! Grenading from Sausage Stab is going to take this flag by itself and the numbers are upon Thompson on the Eastern. And interesting, because, uh, Thompson's actually sending his squad not straight to the flag, he's sending them up here, then potentially going down where he can fire his SMDs to. So, very smart movements of the troops. He's also capped the Western Point. It seems like no one's really winning this engagement so far. Sausage is doing a smart move, capping the center full. Uh, going across the river and Thompson is using his SMG, trying to get into SMG range always and doing a pretty good job at that. Storming in though, it's quite bunched up. Oh, it doesn't look, oh, it doesn't look good if one grenade gets left off by sausages right now. Boom. Oh, that rifle just took out the guy who's going to throw a grenade and this guy, what is he doing? What's the rifle instead? And that's a finished 80 grenade. Boom. Powerful one. And looks like Thompson will take this flag. The MG is pinned down. Semi, semi SMGs. Wow, what a toss above that tree. And that's no chance. He takes back the flag quite well. Now there is a buy now. Escalation of from Thompson. The Lati 80 rifle. Ooh, interesting. Should do okay. Should lock down maybe some of the Chinese light tank buys. Though we do have a howitzer that uh, Sausage buys. I'd like to see what sort he'll get. Uh, Sausages is quite an unorthodox player. I'd like to see him to see if he can make strategies work, because usually some players stick to certain strategies all the time. Sausages always changes it up. And let's see what's gonna what he's gonna get for a counter, I guess. So maybe he doesn't need to buy a counter. He's got the M3. HT gun? I didn't rec oh it's all the way up here already. He bought that ages ago. So that's the uh, obviously the anti-tank aid from China. Probably want to escalate next to uh, Muslim soldiers coming soon. Looks like he's 
taken back the flag with the regulars. Centre still in the grasp of sausages that <laughs> has to retreat it seems. AT gun running back as his infantry can't, pretend, can't hold Thompson's infantry much longer. And I guess here is the elite veterans. Oh, elite veterans? Oh, mines? Sausages has bought mines. Very, very cool. He's bought a mine crate and he's bought, uh, he's bought elite, elite troops. <laughs> Two ADMV troops, wow. That's cool to see. These are German trained elite troops dressed in blue. The DP machine gunner. Don't ask me why they don't have the MG. I guess the MG42 wasn't sold to China. I'm pretty sure it wasn't in the list of uh, uh, firearms that the Chinese use on Wikipedia when I researched. M3 is getting wrecked. Uh, still the guns alive, but the crew has been knocked apart. Though the elite veteran escalation into the Riverway is actually a pretty good one because, uh, yeah, because it's down the riverway, you can't get shot by any sort of uh, flak and it's protected from any of the Lati AT rifle shells. Though, I was about to say, the flamethrower is going to do very well versus it. Especially because this is not. Ooh, potentially, can it turn? Can it turn? It needs to turn. Oh, it's been decreed again that M3 was actually. That was a pretty, I suppose, unfortunate move. Though the elite veterans do have AT grenades. Oh no, oh, M380 gun, that's a, such a waste unfortunately, it uh, was a bit too cocky coming all the way up there and it tried to get back into a safer ground to shoot upon. I guess Sussy just wanted to ambush uh, anything coming close because you can see there's a hill. If a tank comes or some sort of, me even a medium tank could potentially get APCR'd by the M3. Um, that's what he was trying to do I guess. Uh, the risk didn't pay off as Thompson has taken, oh! Wow, quick T26 buy. Wow, he's taking out the OT130 in one shot, but Lati AT rifle returns the favor. Elite veterans, some of them are still alive, have swarmed back in. Or well, I guess they don't have to be over dramatic, strap just Walt back in. Uh, conscripts, quite funny. Uh, China's not being used as they as they actually are designed to be played. They're designed to be used as conscripts. Multiple, multiple waves of conscripts plus lots of infantry. Sausages is actually playing it differently. They're playing it with elite troops. The bonus with that, I guess, is that... Yeah, I suppose it's unexpected. Plus, uh, the elite troops are quite cheap as well. And it's uh, working, I guess, holding the center 15 to 6. So uh, Thompson's strong to get into, into the flag. He's only got the Lati AT rifle. He's got the... What's this? This is the... Trench clearing squad, interesting. We'll definitely be able to shoot their flames down to here, which is a decent buy. Sausages uh, still uh, doesn't have much up his sleeve yet, actually. He's a stored buy. Guess he's confident that P Lati can't penetrate it, and I think he's right. I'm pretty sure that Lati can't penetrate this at uh, max range. Thompson, move to the side. Stuart, I have to stop that. Three assault Jaegers down by the Stuart. Thompson with the assault Jaeger is now flaming into the center. Has cleared the flag. A few more guys at the top. I guess they're gonna go down very soon. Oh, nasty. And even now the Stuart may be in danger. Just gonna track it. Potentially, if the Lati can just track it. Oh no! That was close. That could have been a lot worse. Lati has not tracked it. Oh, a bit late. Oh, actually, it's catching on fire, is that? No, it's okay. That was unfortunate. Lati and Rifle 80 rifle was very accurate, so it could have tracked it. Probably Thompson wasn't controlling it to track it. So, uh... <coughs> Sausages has... Uh, 7 SP, a lot of his sleeve. I don't know what he wants to get next. Maybe even a... Don't know. A mortar might work well, to be honest, right now. Even the gun carrier mortar. Gun carrier mortar is pretty good with reload compared to the other mortars. Here they go. Now the reload. Uh, Thompson has snatched 
the western point. Wow, maximum MG in the wrong location. Unfortunately, oh, this, oh he, got, he went the 800 heroes, I see, okay. Oh wow, Stuart, what the hell did that do? The Stuart's taken out so much, so much infantry, as uh, Sausages has uh, really swarmed the center point, hasn't he? Is is holding that strong. Thompson, the flaming action again. Oh, it's stuck. Oh, no, he's okay. He's okay. See him go up. Can he take out? He's got the maxim. That Lati is really struggling to penetrate that Stuart, isn't he? Uh, what is this? What is this? The tanket? This is the German Panzer 1 8. Six special points, so he's still got enough for that uh, for that uh, juicy United China. I'd like to see that. Or maybe he's saving for a German arty support. That'll be very interesting to see. Okay, here they come. I like watching sausages. You don't see he's got the 800 heroes too, which is rarely bought. Um, it, it isn't that great in this patch, to be honest. When they play the next patch, it's actually going to be a little bit better. Because right now, actually, the MG, MG's bugged. <laughs> Maxim MG doesn't work. So sorry about that. But I, I don't think it uh, changed the game, so I'm happy that it didn't. Wow, that flame shot really far, and that mortar crew is on fire. And the crude. Uh, here he comes, going to... Wow, that's a big turnaround from Thompson. He's actually capped three flags, and Sausages needs a flag now. 25 to 13, three cap means death. Guess we'll see. Interesting to see. We'll see the Tawny squad, I'm guessing, too. You know what? I'm going to throw caution in the wind. Screw this. I'm going to spectate Thompson. He's got 500 MP and he's got enough for a tawny squad, and I think, no he doesn't, five. Aha. So he doesn't have enough for a tawny squad, maybe he's going, going to go to a Manaheim line, I don't know. Interesting. Because before there was a bug in the past with AS2 replays. Hopefully it didn't screw it up, so back to Sausages. Sausages can go the United China now, and I think he should. Just going to totally change the game. Or I guess he is saving for that Adi support. He's got a flag back, so he can hold for a bit longer. Tank it. German Panzer 1. Wow, <laughs> that is really struggling. Funny thing is with this uh, Panzer 1, it can get uh, can get killed by machine gun fire. And this T-50 is struggling. This uh, chilled out Chinese guy at the back. He's quite happy with himself, eat, eating his dumplings. Just chilling out, a bit uh... <coughs> yep, a bit too much, a bit too dazed. What has he got here? Wow. <laughs> what? He bought the USA A, two chaffies. I guess it's decent to counter the T-50 and then take that out. Interesting. Chaffies are on the move, let's see them go. T50 struggling to penetrate the T50 though. I don't think he can, to be honest. Now T50 is rolling away into safety behind that uh, behind the river. Let's take a look at this chaffy. Showing their nice, uh, nice little decals. Sniper out from sausages as well. Chaffies are doing work. Hey, look at that! Bam, bam. The HE shells are wrecking the center as well. And now the sniper's here. It's gonna clear off this area and so she just can grab the center. There's nothing in, nothing between these two players, to be honest. It's so even. Same as the first game. This one is nothing, di no different. T50 though is felled. Wow, do you see that guy? He ran back into the tank. He tried to, it was too hot. Good try, mate. What tank crew parabolum? Uh -huh. Okay, don't know what that means. Mortar can be crude though from sausages. Gotta get in there. And white death is out right here, right there. Gonna start put, uh, giving some hell to the Chinese. I have yet to see sausages use the mines yet. I don't think I've seen any mines being placed. It definitely can. He's 
probably unsure how to use this. He probably thought miners were guys, you know, you could just plant the mine straight away like in meta. Default meta. Eastern. Now going to sausages. Complete turnaround. Playing China. Totally different to what was designed. And there he gets that uh, eastern point. Sat. Lati. <laughs> Still alive. Sniper. I guess there's no troops in the vicinity. I guess White Death did the work. <laughs> and I think that's a recon though. Oh nice. Recon combo with White Death. And... Ah, uh, there's a leader. Sorry. Yeah, he's the recon guy. Look at these guys. White Death and the recon. Perfect combo right there. White Death doesn't have a scope. And he does need some sort of vision. In the form of... Recon would be fine. Though the Chaffer is on it. And <laughs> there goes White Death running away. Chaffee's trying to take a shot. And what do we have here? We have an assault squad coming to the center. Now back into action once again. And I think we have a tank bar here. Ooh, Panzer IV. This is an interesting vehicle by the way because it's not normal Panzer IV. It's got good armor. It's, it's reinforced. 80 armor, I believe. Let me... Uh, let me check that. 80 armor. Yep, 80-50. So it's like a H. So it's, and it's, it's cheaper at 525 MP instead of 600. The problem is the turret's hand cranked. So it's just really, really slow. So it's kind of like a tank destroyer, but it does have a very, very slow ability to turn its turret. Stuart, wow, it's back up. There's like three tanks on the field that Oh, Chaffee's actually down for some reason. Oh, it's back here. He'll do a three-pronged three assault and <laughs> take the side somehow. Chaffee down this way. Stuart straight frontally. The other Chaffee down this way. I guess he doesn't want to engage yet. He just wants to uh, maybe force the Panzer IV out a bit. And this will uh, maybe uh, uh, show that Panzer IV side. Maybe if Thompson tries to reinforce a flag. Stuart, oh, that, oh, that shows you shall aim to you and actually hit and landed. Killed the guy up there, bad luck to that guy. Oh, okay, let's see if the sniper jaw can happen. There's this sniper here, he's gonna try to snipe White Death. He's gonna get sniped first. No counter snipe, oh, he counter sniped White Death! Well done, that's the first counter snipe on White Death I've seen in the tournament. And it goes to Sausage Stab. I commend you on the on that. It's not easy to do. And he's done it. The medal has gone to sausages for killing the unkillable. Hmm, <laughs> I really don't think he's used the mind at all. Anyway, let's go back to sausages. Looks like he's expended all these specials, Thompson, and he's low MP. Sausages on the other hand is 340 MP up and does have two special points up his sleeve so he can go that mortar. I think oh it's a dangerous with uh, with the Panzer IV. Probably the best bet will be the Guerrilla Uprising or well, unless you want to save this um, save it for either Muslim soldiers, Korean rebels or the gun mortar. The Muslim soldiers are a bit better than the Korean rebels in the fight though Korean rebels all have all stealth. And the next patch will also be like a little symbol for S if they have stealth too, and uh, P if they have significant power drops like AT guns, etc. So it might be a bit easier for players to know. Uh, actually, he doesn't need a mortar because he has one right here, which he forget forgot about. Um, you can see Sausages has always been a talented player. He's yeah, he was the best in the world at one stage. Though there are gaps in his game, as you can see, he's just not 100% on the ball. Uh, right now, Thompson swarming into the center. I think this is yet main gunner turreted, so you can quite easily storm right in. Uh, Chaffee, the two Chaffees aren't doing too much. Uh, one's tracked, the other's, well, both of them are tracked on both ends. What? That's a bit strange. How did that happen? I don't know. There goes the Stuart, down. 
hopefully it's not a bug in the replay because I swapped players. Because that doesn't make sense. What the hell is that getting tracked? Huh? That blew up and it got crew injured tracked. The other side. I think the other one got cracked and crew injured. No, it didn't. Okay. I am confused. Did this actually happen in the game? <laughs> Panzer H tracks the the light tank. Tank it. Takes that one out. Mortar is finally crewed by sausages. And he uh, holds on to the center. Quite a strong one now. I think, uh, I think Thompson's all out because he's out of MP. Chaffee is tracked. Oh! OT-130 has been destroyed. And the Chaffee will soon fall to the Panzer IV, I think. Where's the other... Uh, the other Chaffee's repaired. Yep, Chaffee's down. Let's see if this Chaffee can do anything. No, full infantry domination from Sausages. Um, definitely can start uh, attacking the other flags, I think. He wants to on the eastern point. Just seal the deal. So Thompson, uh, just reminding you, Thompson did win the first game, or if you're just tuning in. And it's the best out of three. So if Sausages does win this, looks like he is going to, quite uh, obviously. Only because the Panzer four can't really fight infantry. And he has no MP for other infantry. So he might go probably go to a decider, I think. Chappy. Panzer four. Mortar pounding away on the west. Bam. Oh, misses. Huh. Interesting. Thompson has his own mortar. Look at the sniper doing work though, there's no counter, no counter for it. I still got the reconnaissance leader there, spotting what uh, Sausages has, but uh, still can't do anything about it. That Chaffee is uh, still at the back, I guess he's just going to use that Chaffee to take out any light vehicle rushes. He doesn't want to risk engaging that uh, Panzer. T to be honest, uh, I think the Chaffee can outrun the turret, he can probably run all the way, but the tank, uh, the tank can actually swerve its... Uh, Swerve its hull like a tank destroyer to face the chaffee, so it might be hard to actually flank it unless it's tracked. If it's tracked, that Panzer IV is pretty much dead to a light tank. Look at that slow turret. Twenty-six eighty. Huh, <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> medium howitzer from sausages. What is he gonna shoot at? The mortar, okay. <laughs> uh, that's funny. He never is the only player that buys Artie in 1v1s and it actually worked um, in 1AS2 game. In the mod it will actually work better because it's uh, more worth it and cheaper. Let's see. Should be aiming for the mortar I'm guessing. Probably doesn't know it's there, it's just firing at uh, the sandbags. Yep. Just firing at nothing. <laughs> Never waste the shell. Oh, he's the crude uh, mortar. I think that shell was a bit lucky. Oh, wow, it's actually taking it out. <laughs> oh, nice counter to the mortar, the artil artillery. That's uh, definitely don't see that every day. That's, that's why I like to watch sausages play. It's quite exciting with his micro and just buys stuff that no one else buys. Uh, though you could you could say fair enough in my opinion though to be honest my honest opinion he could have won this game earlier by just getting all the infantry up or attacking with full strength you know 
<laughs> it's like he's torturing Thompson now with unorthodox tactics, just for the hell of it. But it's fun to watch, for me anyway. You can see Thompson's assault. Go to the assault squad. There's three guys guarding. Another guy reinforcing. One more SMD. Why they? Is gonna try. Turn the tide. One elite SMG. <laughs> Ching. Oh, I was gonna say. Ching Chong. I was gonna say Ching Chong. That's a bit. It's a bit of a racist. Uh, racist naming. Oh. Oh, it throws it back. Bam, bam, bam. Thompson doing nice to cap back the flag. Very well done. And uh, he's going to start ticking towards him, so... He's actually stopped it. Stopped the inevitable. Artillery from uh, from Mr. Sausages now onto it. Oh, he's actually done okay. <laughs> Knocked out a few. Oh wow, that one nearly took out the squad back here. Interesting smoke from Thompson. I don't think uh, there's a damage modifier on smoke, so if, if Artie lands where there's near smoke, I'm pretty sure, I think in the in one version of Men of War, smoke actually s reduced the damage. But I think in AS2 it just, uh, it just blocks the vision. Um, interesting uh, usage there. A bit of a micro. <laughs> Micro heavy move. Oh, Panzer four misses the chaffee. Mortar. Wow, the mortar's actually firing the two lots of firepower onto that flag now. Sausage is just uh, too much to be honest. Too much to handle. Chaffee doing good work as well, participating. The Panzer force coming in for a shot. Don't know if it does. I think it's a bit too far away. No, nah, it's got a shot. The range is definitely 130. Just needs to be DC because it's not in AI shooting range. Uh, micro, <laughs> nice micro from that elite veteran. Ooh, he's on four stars now. He's got eight kills. Liu, Liu, and another guy. What's this guy? It's got the ZB. Okay, it's a regular squad MG. Holds the flag. And Sausages backing away is Chaffee. Uh, one pretty cool thing about Deb is obviously on the you can actually survive your tanks at the at going further back, <coughs> and the other tank can't chase you down because Thompson, if he chases him down, his turret will be aimed too low, and they'll be at risk of getting shot from the top. So you, pretty much um, you can kind of make a tank stuck in its position somewhat. Because Thompson now is going to be forced to come this way. He wants. It's just way too far still. Yeah, it's 134. I remember Deb was uh, really interesting to see uh, the terrain usage of fighting when it first got introduced to the competitive uh, tournaments. One of those interesting terrain maps where the hills in the center, hills on the back, etc. were pretty cool. Just, no, just forgot to talk about it because it's just been so long. I mean, it's been pretty much uh, in every single tournament. Artie. Try to get lucky track maybe. I think Thompson quit. This is the AI now. Ah, uh, Thompson quit. Sorry guys. Okay, Thompson just quit. I'm pretty sure he just quit. So, GG. That's interesting why the replay didn't close. I think, uh, I think Sausage just played on. That's why. So Sausage just played on versus the AI. So, what happened there? Um, hmm. What happened there? Top scorers that, wow. You can see the Lati 80 Ruffle actually top scored. <laughs> all the, all the uh, Thompson units are uh, pretty much top scored. Interesting. Why is that? Uh, kill counts, infantry. I guess uh, Sausage did better infantry. I think grenaded Thompson um, better than Thompson did to him. He, yeah, I don't know to be honest. I really don't. <laughs> There's not one key defining moment in that game which uh, which I could pick out, to be honest. Um, hmm, don't know. GG, <laughs> guys.